Well, the son of one tenant tells me he fears his mother could be losing her temporary hotel stay sooner than expected. And now we know that the top 10 floors of this building are temporarily condemned, which means they won't have to be torn down, but they are unlivable until repairs are made. So it's unclear how long people could be displaced. You know, my mother has lived in that building for over 10 years. She is 80 years old. The same age as a neighbor in the building who did not survive, 80-year-old Barbara Johnson. Her daughter sharing this photo of her with us tonight. And that's awful. That is that is the worst case scenario. And I feel for her and her family. Harold Massengill, grateful his mother did make it out safely. I, I give props to the, uh, the Pittsburgh City Fire Department. Um, they literally stashed my mom out that building and carried her down 12 flights of steps. God bless. Them. They got my they got my my due respect. Um it's just that the management is I think is dropping the ball. He says after initially being housed at the convention center, his mother and many other tenants were put up in a hotel by the property owner, NDC Asset Management. But he fears that's coming to an abrupt end. My mother was informed today by the building management that they have two weeks to get all their things out and that tonight will be the last night that the management company would be paying for their hotel room. Management couldn't be reached for comment Monday night. The Red Cross of Greater Pennsylvania unable to comment on what property management will or will not be offering going forward, but said this, quote, the Red Cross is still providing ongoing casework, recovery resources and assistance to the tenants. With his mother's floor, one of the 10 floors temporarily condemned, he's wondering if and when his mother can return to her apartment for good. I feel so helpless. And Massengill says one of his biggest concerns is that his mother be able to get here and get her power chair so that she can have that to use. And again, we have reached out to this building's property management and its parent company. We'll let you know when we hear back. Reporting downtown, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.